covering mine, Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. And yes, once again, foreign intelligence operatives uh, have been arrested in Syria. If you guys recall, a couple of years ago over in Aleppo, uh, there were arrests made that, uh, that were caught by the Syrian military. There were Israeli, U.S., Turkish, uh, those from Saudi Arabia, um, Qatar, all had been arrested for operating in Aleppo, a secret underground base there, uh, had been exposed. And we are once again witnessing this happening. Now, I'd actually gotten uh, this information, gosh, uh, before this article here came out, foreign intelligence agents arrested by Syrian army in Mambij there, I got this information a couple of days even before that. But I have been trying my dead level best to be able to track this information down uh, because what surprised me is that some of the names that were being mentioned were names that were actually on the original list uh, that were captured the first time around. Uh, and it did include United States CIA operatives, Mossad. I'm not going to give the names. I was actually given a list of the names of those that were arrested from the different uh, uh, states where they were from etc that were working but it included Turkish uh, secret uh, secret uh, intelligence officers as well it included the Saudis it included uh, Qatar once again in the spotlight inside of Syria operating with Western backed partners to uh, bring about their own terrorist factions working in the nation against the Syrian government. Uh, so yeah, once again, we see this happening and it kind of makes you wonder what's hap what's going on. Now, this was, <clears throat> of course, with the Syrian military making an agreement, as I was told, it was shared with me that the Syrian government had uh, made an agreement with the Kurds. The Kurds were angry because President Trump was talking about pulling out U.S. military forces. So the Syrian military had already moved up to Mambij and was willing to try to uh, 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 work with the Kurds with this uh, event of U.S. troops fo forces being pulled out. Now, as that happened, uh, this, they, these, these men were captured and caught by the Syrian military. Uh, so I still, other than what it says here in this article here that was released on December 31st uh, on the voiceofthepeopletoday.com, I don't have, uh, I, well, let me put it this way. I have more, more intelligence on the issue than what they're reporting here, but I'm not going to release that information. Uh, I just feel that it's not wise to do so at this time. Uh, but nonetheless, we are seeing here, it says here, previous, previous reports have documented in the existence of coordination centers for military terrorist operations in northern and southern Syria, such as those in the cities of Adna uh, in Turkey, Mocha in Jordan, Mayer in northern Syria near Aleppo. Uh, and that's actually where a lot of these operatives were caught once before. Since the beginning of the Syrian crisis, elements from the 120 countries, including intelligence agents from the Air Force, uh, have rallied to the terrorist groups. Their main mission was to train the emerging terrorists in battle and teach them how to design and fire bombs and terrorist operations. So just some of the things that they're saying in this particular report here. Now, Kind of moving on, though, I want to deal with some other issues here. Uh, General Mattis, of course, he's outgoing Secretary of Defense, but he rejected President, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu's request on an arms deal with Croatia. Going to see how that's going to go through. Uh, but at any rate, rate, Croatia had requested the F-16s that were fully equipped with Israeli abilities. Uh, but James Mattis jumped in and said, no, they have to be stripped and, uh, and they have to be brought back down to what F-16 fighter jets are given, by, uh, given to Israel by the United States, uh, and which uh, would be a $500 million arms deal to Croatia that Israel would be providing. But Croatia has been talking about backing out of the deal unless they get it exactly the way the Israelis made the warplanes. Well, I did a little digging because I'm thinking to myself, okay, what's the big deal? Why is Croatia wanting these warplanes? And of course, you can see on the map in behind you here, if we zoom in a little bit there to Croatia, we got Serbia. Serbia, of course, has been siding with Russia more, more recently. 
uh, Croatia, NATO, uh, works with NATO, the European Union, and, you know, it's just kind of like there's some powers in the world that don't like Russia having any friends whatsoever in any part of the European theater. And, of course, Russia had just gifted Serbia uh, just recently with its own uh, warplanes there. Uh, and the only thing that they had to do is just pay Russia for the repairs, the updates and repairs that needed to be done on these planes here. So Russia gifted them. Uh, and of course, Serbia is only going to be paying $209 million versus Israel's price tag of $500 million to try to uh, out, out be able to outgun Serbia's warplanes gifted to them by the Russian Federation. So, eh, kind of interesting to see how this goes, as you can uh, tell by what I'm speaking about right here. Uh, so, uh, you know, none of this is going to go over very well. Uh, and it just goes to show furthering the issues that are happening uh, inside of Europe with, uh, of course, Ukraine. It was a lot of information has been said before that uh, Serbia helped uh, the Russian government to acquire Crimea uh, in this uh, debacle that happened with Ukraine. So we'll have to wait and see how that ends up turning up. Uh, also in China, a new antenna is five times the size of the New York City, but some fear it could be a cancer risk. Well, no doubt. It's kind of like the 5G technology. China builds this thing, uh, and the type of uh, waves that it uh, emits will allow them to actually communicate with subs underneath the sea. But the land itself, as they say, is five times the size of New York City. They had to build this thing that is so big, it is known to cause cancer, kind of like the 5G problem that we're dealing with. Uh, and actually, I got to speak to uh, Senator Colback the other day, and uh, so hopefully we'll have Senator Colback coming on with us here very soon about the issue about 5G technology and his expertise in that field. Uh, so we're hoping to be able to share that with you uh, this coming week sometime. Um, also, the uh, TSA agents call in sick after 14 days without pay. Hmm, this is all over President Trump not getting the wall. He's willing to hold out for years, as he says. And, uh, you know, I just can't help but wonder. Think about it. A wall? wall will keep us all inside the United States. And, of course, if you don't pay your employees and they end up walking off the job, next thing you know, they close down the airports. You can't fly out of the country either. Sounds like more and more we're, coming our, we're bringing ourselves into our own mousetrap. What do you think? I mean, just think about it. It's just not something just doesn't look right uh anyway american detained the, the uh u.s marine that was retained uh, detained in russia russia is accusing him of being a spy the united states already freaking out over this saying you got to get our guy back he's not a spy he was only there for a wedding I, I saw it coming. I mean, I, I mean, you guys no doubt saw this coming as well. I mean, after all, they they uh, detain uh, Butina, and they don't let her go, and they claim that she's some kind of a spy, and then put her under interrogation with threats of being in prison for the rest of her life in the United States uh, in a very undesirable place and made her life miserable on this earth. Uh, so what do you expect? Russia's going to take and return the favor. And... You know, it's interesting because Mike Pompeo is saying that, you know, Russia has no right to do this to this man and to use him as a pawn, so to speak, in this chess game. But then again, didn't President Trump do the exact same thing with uh, uh, the uh, C excuse me, the CFO of Huawei company recently when he said if he got a favorable deal with China, he would intercede to make sure she would be released and sent back home? Hmm. That sounds like, to me, holding a hostage for a better uh, financial gains in the world. What's the world coming to? I mean, it makes me think of uh, Mark of the Beast. I mean, think about it. Can't buy or sell, save, saving you do what we say. But you know, this is not just a U.S. issue. Join us later on Patreon. We're going to go into Patreon this evening. We're going to be discussing China. Wow! Israel's relation with China and what it's actually becoming, it will to spin your mind around. Talk about be, can't buy or sell. Oh, geez. It's kind of like what they're doing in a lot of these um, censorship issues. It's not so much as they're saying, even like Patreon, it's the financial people behind Patreon uh, that are saying that if you cross the line, the, the, the card-holding companies, they're the ones that bring the crippling 
crutch down upon you. Yeah, I can see the New World Order is definitely a place where you can't buy or sell unless you say what they want you to say. We're headed there rapidly, friends. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, Erev Tov.